here we are on the third and final video. We're finally gonna wrap up this Model A project. We actually started it a few weeks ago and then there was a problem with the material not coming in. So we ended up, it took three weeks to get the remaining material we needed after we already started. It was really uh, a kick in the tail. We also made a bulkhead that was kind of cool for the back, which we can't use because it just doesn't fit right. So now we are gonna make the custom seat, put it in and wrap up this video. So stay tuned, check it out. I'm Eddie Barrett, this is Atomic Auto Works. Okay, this is where I get to pretend to drive. So I know he wants to sit back farther. Actually, it's not too bad with the vertical back. I bring it forward like that, right back. Right now, I'm just trying to figure out where I want the seat to stop and what kind of rake I want for the backrest. The problem that the customer had with this previously is he sat too far forward and couldn't get back far enough. So now he'll be able to scoot right back. Okay, so you can see here, what I'm doing is, I'm actually making a wood tack strip that's gonna be mounted on the top of our seat here. Our customer wants the seat to be completely flush with the rear bulkhead here. So if you see, I'm putting our quarter inch sofa foam, which I'm gonna use on here, and then I'm putting our material on here, and I also made up a test piece of weld to see exactly how it's gonna fix. I wanna make sure that there's no gaps and this looks very nice and flush here. This kind of will tell me how high or low I need to make this tack strip because I want it to be kind of flush right across there. So if you see here, we're getting pretty close. I'm just gonna take this out and shave it down and sand it a little bit and close up this. So I have my gap pretty much where I want it. Now I'm gonna put the foam, some foam here, material here, and I'm gonna put my weld in here and make sure it's exactly where I want it to fall. And let's see, let's put that in there, pull that tight. That looks pretty good to me. We got the, everything's gonna be flush with a nice weld going across there. It'll be dynamite. Okay, before we finish welding up the seat frame, I just wanna test fit the height, make sure the height's good. And comfort wise. Yeah, so this is a standard, so you actually have a clutch. This actually works out pretty good. Gives you enough room. Yeah, my leg's not touching the door panel. I have enough room here to stretch out. Perfect. Getting ready to upholster the cushion. I like to do the cushion completely first. Whew, I'm out of breath here. I like to do the cushions completely first, slip it onto the actual seat frame, and then I'll give you my height where I'm gonna actually put my crossbars, this will actually let me um, put a place so I could mount the new cover on too, but it'll give me the proper gapping. I'm gonna do the diamonds here, I'll lay this out and then we're gonna just smooth across the front. You're gonna see I'm gonna do a welt that goes across here and up and over. I sewed up all the diamonds, made all the patterns, now I'm gonna sew all of the patterns together on the cover, make a seat cover and we'll install it. Let's see if our cover fits. Okay, it looks like it's gonna work. Let's get it together. Okay, let's go test fit this and see what we could do for the height for our rear backrest and hopefully it works out. All right, fingers crossed. Okay, that goes right in. So as you can see right now, I'm just, I just set the seat in there. It's um, not bolted in yet. We have to, put it back you'll see it'll have a nice gap but we'll we'll mount this in there take a picture of it and you'll be able to see what we're doing here this is going to be a really really short video today